Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today, we're going to be blasting Belgium's perverted ceremony, Sabbat of Bezil. Fucking yes, I love perverted ceremony so fucking much. Morbid Messiah, it's just so sick. I I fucking love this album so goddamn much. I forget his partner in crime's name. Oh, Baron Cemetery, so fucking sick. I love the white kicks. But one of my favorite promo photos as well. That guy is a real bad case of rosacea, it looks like. But, nah. Just some filthy, filthy fucking Belgium black metal. I love it. And this next band actually reminds me a fuckload of Perverted Ceremony and Early Beharit, which is... One of the reasons I love it so much, but it also has some U.S. black metal flair in the more filthy U.S. black metal circles of, like, Pro Fanatica and some of Paul's other projects and whatnot. And I'm talking about Spain's Death Womb... Moonless Night Sacraments on the mighty Iron Bonehead Productions. Once more, this video would not be possible without the kindness and generosity of John Randall in Tampa, Florida. Fucking heavy, heavy hails. I know this artwork has been used before. It happens. But... The cosmetics on here, as usual, with an Iron Bonehead release are amazing, but what's even more amazing are the tunes that exist within the grooves of Death Womb's debut full-length, Moonless Night Sacraments. This is some fucking satanic savagery fucking grade a spanish black metal but it conjures up a mostly 90s finnish black metal sound with some american influences from the late 80s early 90s it's fucking sick and on the money when it comes to the Beharit worship, like, holy fucking shit. It's hypnotic, barbaric, and just evil sounding. It's fucking awesome, like, seriously. I cannot get over just how fucking nasty this bad boy sounds, like, in every way possible. It's just like, wow. And then you get the usage of synthesizers usually that's like you know eh, whatever it is what it is but this sounds like a more synth driven version of Beharit's drawing down the full moon which like fuck yeah this is so fucking good I, I don't even really know what to say about it besides, holy shit. Thank you, John, for again reading my goddamn mind somehow when it comes to my taste in black metal. Because I really like filthy, filthy sounding blasphemous stuff. As much as I like the pretty stuff, I mostly like the really nasty sounding, like borderline caveman death metal thrown into this cauldron of black metal. Anytime you mix up genres a little bit and they intertwine just a little, but that little bit makes 
such a big difference is something Death Womb do very, very well here on Moonless Night Sacrament. And that's by kind of even reaching into their bag of tricks to like early demoncy and taking some of those elements and throwing them in. It's just fucking awesome. And it's just nasty sounding. And at the same time, as primitive as it is and as evil as it sounds, it's just fucking awesome at the end of the day. And there's really no other word I can use for it besides some evil, awesome, sickening, hypnotic, and fucking old school as it gets like you have ingester on drums and vocals goat servant on guitars keyboards and effects and desecrator on bass this was mixed and mastered by vk so you know it sounds fucking great and uh yeah this is just a gnarly gnarly debut full length from death womb Spanish black metal at its fucking finest. I mean, I'm not counting Titan Blood in that. Uh, Titan Blood's kind of their own deity at this point in time. But they're also more of a, you know, black death war band, in my opinion. Where Death Womb keep the black metal very close to the heart. And some of the those like caveman death metal elements I were talking I was talking about are just kind of thrown in in the background a little bit. You'll hear some like early 90s, late 80s, kind of like autopsy, dark throne, soul side journey type of like riffing going on when it gets kind of doomy and then the keyboards kick in and you're right back in Beherit territory. It's fucking awesome, and the vocalist legit sounds a lot like Morbid Messiah, even though it's not Morbid Messiah, but I really, really love the parallels I can make with, like, Moan of Zebeth, fucking perverted ceremony. It kind of all sounds very similar, except for Death Womb kick things up a notch when it comes to the, like, just songwriting it's it's fucking sick everything about this record is goddamn fucking amazing all 10 tracks they're fucking great it starts off like just like kind of like vampiric and like you'll be squeezing invisible oranges like pretty much throughout every single track on here some of my favorite tracks happen the primordial one that pretty much sums up fucking Moonless Night Sacraments. It's primordial fucking black metal from the Spanish crypts. Just a total satanic slab of savagery. Like, oh, I love this stuff. And just great cosmetics by Iron Bonehead. Plain black vinyl, I think it's uh, 140, but uh, yeah, very, very nice looking black vinyl. Death Womb! But seriously, Moonless Night Sacraments is a fucking grade A slab of satanic black metal. I love this stuff so fucking much. Like, especially like, it really does have a hypnotic vibe to it, where it's like, whoa. You kind of lose yourself like, literally, and it's, it's awesome. Tracks like The Ancient Serpent, Moonless Night Sacraments, Oh my god, Black Omen, Moloch's Domain, The Chasm, 
every track on here is fucking sick. From the opening of Tablets of Fire, you'll know you made the right choice when it came to snagging this fucking beast right here. It's a limited edition LP, I think. I'm not sure what the numbers are and whatnot, but I do know that John Randall in fucking Tampa is the goddamn man. And Death Womb have some fucking grade A Spanish black metal that conjure up a mostly early 90s Finnish black metal sound alongside some early U.S. black metal acts. It's fucking nasty, it's evil, and it's fucking just... Wow. That's all I can really say is fucking wow. Yeah, Death Wound do sound like a lot of other bands in black metal, but they happen to kind of claim that just nasty, raw black metal sound and make it their own. Like, as much as I feel like this was influenced by bands like Perverted Ceremony and Beherit obviously is a huge influence on this record. Like, from the opening, like, keyboard part, it's like, whoa, this sounds like fucking Beherit. And it's sick, because it really does remind me of drawing down the full moon, but just with more synthesizer usage at the right parts, too. It's not like they're just using synthesizers to back up guitar solos or any bullshit. The synths are there for atmosphere and Death Womb just hit a fucking home run when it comes to that. An amazing, amazing 10-track, full-length, barbaric, evil slab of Spanish black metal. With some tiny death metal elements thrown in. It's fucking sick. So if you dig early Beherit, Profanatica, Perverted Ceremony, Demon Sea, the list goes on. But mostly if you dig nasty, rotten, black metal, you cannot go wrong with Death Womb and Moonless Night Sacraments on Iron Bonehead Productions. 10 out of fucking 10. I'm sorry, this is my shit right here. Fucking hails to Iron Bonehead for just killing it in 2019. Like, seriously fucking killing the black metal game right now, in my opinion. Get into this record, Moonless Night Sacraments by Death Womb, on Iron Bonehead, 10 out of 10, grade A Spanish satanic black metal attack, get on it, this is everything I could possibly want out of a black metal release. And we were blasting another one of my favorite black metal releases of recent years. Perverted Ceremony, Sabbat of Bezil, fuck yeah. It's just, again, one of those releases that is so fucking good. I need to get this on vinyl. I had it in my hand a couple weeks ago, but yeah, I should have snagged it, but maybe in the near future, but in the meantime, get into some perverted ceremony, get into some death womb, and get into some nasty fucking evil, raw, primitive black metal. And as always, thanks for watching, and a special hails to John Randall for making this video possible, and Iron Bonehead for putting out badass tunes. And everyone who watches this channel, you fucking rule. Hells.